Oh. Right, well, it's a scorcher today, absolutely beautiful. I'm sure it'll rain later, but for now. We are, <coughs> we can't, we've moved on from La La Port. It's right next to Hang Tua Bonneville Station. So we hopped on the train, took ourselves down to KL Central, which is just behind me. And now we are in the area called Brickfields, which is also Little India. Been here before, you saw me last time here. I like it here, it's very lively, very colorful. And uh, so I just thought we'd have a little walk. Uh, uh, like, I'm not one of these that's gonna show you the 10 best things to do in KL because people do it better than me. So, you know, I'm just gonna show you bits of KL for those of you that have never been here. Or for those of you that want to see it through a different person's eyes. I mean, I know some people like certain areas, so it's yeah, one of the areas I like. I had a roti teller and coffee for breakfast this morning, which I think I've already told you about. This is a cool building, yeah, the Shell Ascot building behind me. I like the style of that. Starbucks there. Do we need a Starbucks? No, we don't. I feel like a Starbucks is a nice place to sit and chill, but I don't think we've done enough to justify that. Anyway. KL is just so much positive change. Smart buildings, cleaner than they used to be. Certainly KL used to be really dirty. A lot cleaner than it used to be modern city with some stunning buildings. It's got some dull ones, but it's got a lot of stunning ones. Do this, we're going. Yeah, we got across the road, we got across the road. Yeah, there's some iconic buildings in KL. Now, where are we going to eat? There's lots of food places. Are we going to eat? I don't, it's too early. It's only 11. Well, it's nearly 12 o'clock. What's the time? It's 12 o'clock. Still too early. I've not long had breakfast. But we'll have a look around anyway. Maybe spot a place for later. Although, I was very tempted by a Lao Lao again. I do like a Lao Lao. Get a fro-yo. Fro-yo-yo. So our situation is very simple. We have to turn back to England. Um, at the end of March. And neither of us want to, my wife or I, neither of us want to go. However, I'm 61 years old. My wife spent about two months in hospital last year back in England. We just can't afford to lose our access to British healthcare system. And if that means we've got to spend six months in the UK, then sadly, so be it, because we've got to do what we've got to do. It's important. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hate people who just cannot, like, even say a thank you if you stop and let them pass because it's a narrow part. I hate people on the same in your car and you let people out, they don't acknowledge you. So those people I just say, F you, you rude, arrogant pieces of <laughs> Oh, I said it. Anyway, beautiful day. Um, so tomorrow morning we're gonna go off to Ippo. I'm gonna get a better hotel for Ippo. I'm not staying like I am at the moment in a place with no bloody hot water. No mattress, well, we've got a mattress, it's the thinnest thing I did feel, so, like, it's not good for my back. 
I can just feel every lump and bump that's in the plastic below me. So yeah, not impressed. Which is a shame because I really liked and my other experiences in capture hotels have been super positive. Anyway, so we're now coming to the colourful part. Obviously it's daytime so it's not as lively, not as colourful. But I do love the whole Indian style of the dress, I love the smell, of the not the the bad smell. I mean, the smell of the spices and the incenses and all that kind of stuff. I love the colour. Beautiful coloured items. My wife loves them and looks fabulous in them. My favourite dresses are items we bought in um, Jaipur, I believe. Later. Too early. Thank you. Too early. Alright, so we're coming up to the hotel I stayed at last time I was here. Oh, I'm going to out it now. This one. Still got the OYO sign outside, by the way. But they claim nothing to do with OYO, and I didn't get my money back. So, F OYO and F that hotel. F both of them. This is where we get to the noisy part. Which, uh, Can affect the copyright. Look at the, the smell down here, the colours down here. To me, this is the best part of Johor. Uh, I've got Johor on my mind. It's one of the best parts of KL, Little India. Just so much brick fields. And look at that building behind me. So cool down here. So yes, I've got to find a better hotel. I'm going to have just two nights in Ippo, so not a lot of time to do an awful lot. Um, but I'm kind of like, you know, if you're one of these guys on a quick trip through Malaysia and you want to stop at a couple of places and see what they like, you'll, you can get a quick look through my eyes. That's how I found Taiping. Just it was a stop on my journey. And I just fell in love with the place. I've been to Ippo, but only briefly. And uh, I know it's got a good reputation, so we're going to have another look. So I am on soup camping. Well, we had our soup camping yesterday. I was going to go to a, a restaurant that... I was watching some videos yesterday. And this one place kept coming up as a soup bagging place. I think it's over near Bukit Bintang area. I think it's restaurant Surya, possibly, or Surai, something like that. Anyway, it seems to be getting a lot of people talking about it as a place to go for a dagging soup. I don't really like going to, like, you must go to these places kind of places. However, that dagging soup I had yesterday gave me the taste back, and I quite fancy like, finding one that everybody's raving about. So, we will see. All right. So that was kind of, I could cross over and be more in the colourful side if you like. Alright, so anyway, I'll be back with you later.